in November, some very strange events are about to happen and it's going to affect everything. Not just the ESA solar activity plan for disaster preparedness, something a professor just emailed me about. They're saying there's going to be a blackout on electronics, satellites, all navigation. So I need you to sit down and listen to this because I was sent this email. Here's the proof right here that was a director of the science program as well as many others at Union College. And his name is Fred Zielenbach. And what this former professor said to shock ripple waves across the United States for the next months to come. Mind you, he's been doing this research for 30 plus years. But we have to investigate these claims to see where this is all headed. Before the disaster strikes, you will remember this video. And the professor, he will be coming on the channel and you will want to stay around to see everything he has to say himself. He's wrote me and said, November is quickly approaching. Planet X will be fully admitted with the announcement of Nibiru and full blown, read my lips. And if you don't get what I said, look in the top of the comment section, you'll see it there. My big question is, how does this professor even knows this is coming? He watches his channel actively. But the fact that he said that full blown Marshall is coming, I looked at some dates and I seen that this was being said. So he might not be too far off if we have judges telling us that we're kind of in an imminent scenario where this is close to come. But what about the scenario of the whole planet X? What does he know about that? And how is that even tied into everything? Listen closely to this because we got something else to tie into it. November is when the Biru complex will move from left of the sun to the center in front of the sun. This allows the sunlight to pass directly through vast patrol and debris ridden dust cloud, making the Biru huge like the mythological dragon with seven heads of Dior. The Biru cover up hopes to confuse the public by claiming this is a common atlas. Meanwhile, severe wobble creates humongous storms and the approaching Nibiru causes EMP outages and plane crashes and sky fire. And sky glow occur without explanation. Wait a minute. I have some videos of sky glows happening just days ago. But you know what's really nerve rattling about this event that he's talking about? The Carrington Level Event Simulation November. It's right around the same time that he's saying Planet X will be admitted, Nibiru. And they're going to try to knock out electronics in this simulation and nothing's going to be accessible. So around that time when they're saying the simulation is happening, we could be seeing something else happening. Or is it that the solar activity will be what they deem the threat? Now the professor claims another nerve rattling situation. We have predicted that all countries around the world would be forced to declare to control panic. This is already in the process in the US where deporting, you know who, and cleaning up crime in big cities is in process. We have called this on the creep. Nibiru effects will increase steadily up to pole shift. Planes will be increasingly in danger. There will be edicts to stay off planes. So he's saying we're going to start seeing information like this come out and them telling us to not do this. This is going to be interesting for all of us to watch. What do you think? What the fuck is that light moving by the moon? So listen closely. What he says is coming 
warnings for us not to be on planes, massive amounts of sky glows. He specifically says the Bureau effects will increase steadily up to the pole shift. And there will be edicts like we're starting to see in the news. They're going to say you need to stay off planes. <sighs> That's what he's claiming we're going to start seeing. Sky glow will be most alarming when massive amounts of Nibiru debris collide simultaneously with the upper atmosphere. He, he also stated that this was from Zeta Talk. Based on the events happening so far with the servers down, FFA outages, uh, you know, power outages and recent plane crashes in National Guard in cities. And just a few days ago, a guy found the video of an object in the atmosphere. <clears throat> I've just had a flat earth say pictures can be manipulated. Well, this is still on my camera, yeah? Nikon D3200. No image of mine has ever been manipulated. It's straight raw data, what you will see, right? This is not the sun and it is not the moon. This is something else, right? You can see it's not the moon because there's no image of the moon there. You can see it's not the sun because there is no sunspots. Right? This is another object that is in the sky directly above our heads that we cannot see with the naked eye. And the professor seen this on my channel and he said this. He says, by the way, the object found on the camera is an image I've seen popped up often through my colleagues what they call Nibiru complex. 30 years I was complex in the existence of the planet. Like I said, I've never tried to prove it did exist. If it did, it would show itself. My job was to prove the events I could verify. Let's go see if we can add some more pieces to the puzzle real quick. Because you shouldn't leave until you get this. Okay, so everybody along the West Coast, listen closely. The professor says, that by 2026, he claims that a mega thrust earthquake that will cause a tsunami was set to happen. But let's check that claim really quick. Let's go to Oregon State University. And they're saying that by 2026, the actual seamount will erupt. So this kind of lines up with what he's saying here. And this is why you need to just stop and hit subscribe right now, because I'm going to be covering that and I can tap into the live feeds and tell you exactly when the activity up peaks. And I'm going to be looking at all the other situations arriving so that you can get this right away that is not being told to you. I've been looking out for everybody across the West Coast, East Coast and the New Madrid fault zone in America and even up to Vancouver area. We're looking out for all of you here, but let's look into something importantly. So based on what he just said, let's look at all these places right here. This is what you need to be looking for. The oranges to yellow, it's extreme to moderate damage. These are the areas that could potentially start to sink. This is where the tsunami wave is going to come in. And some of these areas are going to be completely isolated until you get down in California area. Moving back is going to be the best option. Let's look at the potential wider spectrum here from Cascadia subductions on to New Madrid fall in the new potential look of America. And this was the future map of the United States by Gordon Michael Scallion, who was a futurist teacher of consciousness studies and metaphysics and spiritual visionary of the 80s. He claimed he had a spiritual awakening that helped him create a very detailed map of a future world. Yeah, look, the Cascade Subduction Zone would be right here. The water passed through Colorado, Nebraska area. You can see how it is going through Mississippi all the way up to as well from New Madrid fault zone and like just rivers separating the area. Now, this is the map that he claimed he saw from a spiritual vision. We're not claiming that this is what's going to happen, but we can look at this and kind of see a little scenario at hand. And if you're sitting here watching this, you just know you're not alone in any of this. And but the more that we don't get this to our family members, our friends, to let them know the larger picture. We kind of lose out in the sight of what's coming together as a collective. So why should people see this video? Is because one professor for thirty years has come forward with an email, and we'll be on this channel later. Two, we went and then investigated the claims and could put a little pieces to the puzzle together, 
and they really strangely nerve riding and they really strangely lined up in the most disturbing way, you know. And if you're sitting here watching this, whether you're new, whether you've been here forever, you are not alone in this. All of us here in this community are watching each other's back and people have sent me more video clips of things happening around them. We will get to you. And all of the urgent events, this community together, if we're just focused and we're energized the right way and you get the messages to us, there is no way we could not know what's happening. You're empowered when you're in a community like this, when your voice matters and you look through the comments and I go and look at every last one of your comments to see exactly what's going on. That's the power of togetherness. And that's what we need when disaster gets ready to strike again. I say it again. Hurricane Katrina made me into who I am as a younger kid growing up to now. And I've seen the world. But now we go into a different cycle. And this cycle here is going to progress even further in 2026. The 80 year cycle is here and now is going to test every last one of us and why people need to know this. Why you need to get this to family members and friends? Because not only we got to a professor who's been doing this for 30 plus years, but two, we lined up the details and we've seen little pieces to the puzzle here. There's still an ongoing investigation that you have to be here to see. This is about our own livelihoods here. And that's why you made it this far because the biggest part to the story lies in this video a hot blob off the west coast that is stretching for miles you need to see what it's doing so you can survive what's coming